The National Security Council has revealed that the Islamic State West African province ISWAP is the mastermind of the deadly attack on St. Francis Catholic Church in Owo Undo State. In an interview with State House correspondent, the Minister of Interior, Raoul Farek Beshala, said security agencies are closing in on the perpetrators through their traces. According to him, the council is gravely concerned about spate of blasphemy linked killings and has directed security agents to hunt those behind the killing of the Boris Samuel in Sokoto State and a more recent case in Abuja. He, however, noted that the police have arrested no one for the attacks on Sunday. President Mohamed Buhari presided over the National Security Council meeting. concerned about the violent attack in a war on those states. I've been able to locate the perpetrators of that event or that sad horrendous attack. From all indications we, real, we, 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 have, we, have zero, we are we are zeroing in on ISWAP, the Islamic State for West Africa. It is not an ethno-religious thing. The animals in ISWAP wanting attention and recognition are suspected to have to, to have launched that attack. So let us. Uh, all mobilize ourselves to one defeat the effort to pitch us against ourselves and the investigation is a process it may not start today and end tomorrow we are on the matter and the matter will be looked into both in terms of uh, looking at whatever angle that will bring fruitful results to it. Community policing, like, I, like the Honorable Minister said, is an issue that has been adopted. It is a policy, it is a process to, uh, in which the, 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 the police is now giving back the community a lot of responsibility in terms of policing its own community. That is why you have community policing officers. So it is an issue that will require, just like I said, collaboration between members of the public and the, poli and, and the police and the, or the paid agents. Joining us on the news now tonight is Stan Labo, a security expert. Good to have you on the news tonight. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Now, moving on to the war attack, uh, the Nigerian government has said ISWAP is responsible for Undo Church killings. While the state governor came out earlier to say the perpetrators were Malians that were trained in Libya. At this point, what are Nigerians to believe? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, in the first place, uh, so the ordinary Nigerian ministry uh, is not really too bothered about all these positions. The great after the ordinary Nigerian ministry is concerned is that, you know, this attack is either coming from uh, Boko Haram or the bandits and so on. Uh, the bulk of these positions are uh, creations, I would say, uh, of analysts and, 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 and any who want to probably actually arrive at the definite uh, group that may be responsible. Uh, Peter, as it may, uh, we are all aware that um, banditry or the ongoing Boko Haram itself in Northeast is beginning to spread with tentacles. And if you are aware of the way terrorists are going, yes, please. If you are where the way terrorists operate, they operate with sleeper cells. And most of these cells, like we know, are already penetrating the hinterlands in the country, going down south of. So I will not be surprised to see such action. And I 
Yemeni, be it whether from Israel or from whatever group. The point is that we are beginning to see enough time that the ongoing situation of law is spreading down south and it's a very disturbing development. Right now, uh, till now, arrests are yet to be made. Now, do you see this issue being resolved quickly, especially for the aggrieved people in the Owo community? Can you repeat the question? Yes, I, I said um, arrests are yet to be made. Do you see this um, being resolved quickly, especially for the aggrieved people in the Owo community? Well, we're not hoping. But the fact is that uh, was there any immediate follow-up, immediately to took place. Like you are aware, we do not have what we call in the real sense, quick uh, reaction for QRF. A QRF team is supposed to be on top. Once things like this happen, max 10 minutes. But we always have a situation where our security agents would arrive on ground. Three hours later, it's not the next day. So it's unfortunate we have to make sure we're able to build up stand up QRF. Okay? For nearly everything that could react to what pictures on but you have to get the, 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 the what's it called? Multimodal uh transport asset, which is required by this uh uh they like the QRM thing. They need to have the relevant communication. And they must train and we have with them. It is after this review of whether we can resolve the issue. So when there was no follow-up, there are no evidence, this and that. How do you arrive at the problem? It's unfortunate. Government was address this problem. Now, Colonel, to my next question. The AKT election is almost here, which is uh, on the 18th of June this year, and we have so many issues with uh, security in the country. Do you see this affecting turnout of uh, voters during the election, even if security arrangements are made? Um, of course, we know that security arrangements are made. The best I can say is that to ensure that this does not begin to impact on voters turnout at the election. Government has got to start doing some talking to the local communities of Ghana, reassuring them of actual, you know, uh, security, and letting them know that actually you'll be able to protect them. The bulk of the problem is that um, citizens, the citizens in this country, seem to have lost complete confidence in those who are governing over us. So it becomes more and more people trying to win the mind and heart of the people on ground. The government has got to do this. People want to see this turn up at the election. Now, finally, my uh, last question for tonight. Our women gathered today at uh, the cathedral with uh, leaves and knives causing the perpetrators. How do you think the governments can calm the people in the community amidst this grief? Reassurance. The governor himself is going to come out. Government officials want to come out. All media institutions within uh, the government service must be airing it out. The people must really be reassured, whatever it takes. And for those who have, uh, uh, who are victims, government must move in and see how they are able to pay off people. Do a lot to reassure the people that you are there to provide governance and that you'll be there for them. This is the time to do it. All right. Thank you so much for your contributions tonight, Colonel. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.